Now all new at five, a report just released on climate change is placing the blame on us, human beings. While the science is not surprising to many, it's generally agreed to be the case. Something else about this report is CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez in the control room with details. Elliot. Well, that's right, guys. What's surprising about this report is not so much what's in it. What's most surprising is that it was approved by the White House, a position seemingly at odds with statements by President Trump about climate change. The report says it's extremely likely that human activities are the dominant cause of global warming and our changing climate. South Florida's ground zero for sea level rise. Brickle saw it during Hurricane Irma. Fort Lauderdale sees it during king tide. So does Miami Beach, where high tides leave streets saturated and residents stranded. Now a new climate report released Friday supports what scientists have said for years. The climate is changing, temperatures and sea levels are rising. Climate change is real, period. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo made the remark last weekend, marking the five-year anniversary of Superstorm Sandy. To deny climate change is to deny science, is to deny reality. The 600-page climate science special report was conducted by experts at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NASA, and the Department of Energy. It found that the past 115 years have been the warmest in the history of modern civilization. The average global temperature has increased by 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. It found sea levels have risen three inches since 1993. The report also found that heavy rainfall is increasing, especially in the Northeast, while out West, warmer temperatures are contributing to the rise in forest fires. Efforts to reduce emissions, the report says, would slow the rate of global warming. The Paris Climate Accord is simply the latest example of Washington entering into an agreement that disadvantages the United States. In June, President Trump announced the U.S. would pull out of the Paris Climate Accords, a move that seems to go against the report's findings. Now, the United Nations convenes its annual climate change conference next week in Germany, where the Trump administration is expected to face harsh criticism for that decision to walk away from the Paris Accords. Rick and Rube, back to you.